Hey everyone, Jason back once again with another diecast review. Today we'll be taking a look at Johnny Lightning James Bond Release 1, the 1987 Aston Martin V8 from No Time to Die, and the 2002 Aston Martin V12 Vanquish from Die Another Day. Alright, so the packaging as you can see is basically the same. The only differences are the fast facts, so if the video will focus, you can read those, move that one out of the way, maybe it'll work. But those are the fast facts. It's not going to focus too well because of the white on the gray background. Same for this one here. It's just not going to focus because they put the white lettering on a silver background. So what we'll do is we'll take a look at number five and release one, the 2002 Aston Martin V12 Vanquish from die another day like I said there's the card art this car features die cast metal body and chassis rubber tires authentic film replica part of pop culture this was from 2020 release one so fairly new here's a little checklist so yeah that is the real uh, packaging what I'm going to do now is pause the video, get them both cracked open. We'll take a closer look at both of them in detail when I get back. Stay tuned. All right, got the cars out of their packaging. What we'll do first is take a look at the 1987 Aston Martin V8. We'll take a closer look at it in more detail. So it's a phenomenal looking little car. We'll go ahead and zoom in here so you can get a closer look. The wheels look phenomenal. Got really nice chrome details for your bumpers. The license plate looks great and is accurate to the film. Painted details for your headlights. Got a little Aston Martin logo right there at the top of the nose. The silver trim around the windshield wipers and windows look on point. As I mentioned, the wheels look phenomenal. This does feature rubber tires. Black interior on the passenger side here body color door handles back of the car has painted details for your tail lights got the license plate looking nice on the back here on the driver's side you can see there is a black molded interior uh, steering wheel and everything there isn't too much flashy with this car I like the color it's a like a stone gray metallic don't believe this is an opening hood. No, it's not. Bottom of the chassis. This is a 1998 copyrighted Playing Mantis release. Production date was my birthday, July 14th, 2021. Tooling number... Uh, right down there. So yeah, the uh, 87 Aston Martin V8 looks phenomenal. Up next is the 2002 Aston Martin V12 Vanquish. Once again, painted details for your headlights, but they have done some tampo detailing there to make them look somewhat realistic. Got the Aston Martin logo above the front grille. Got a couple of intakes uh, on the hood. The grille on the front looks great, as well as the license plate. The wheels are nice on this one. Got all the correct badging on the side and decoration. The pass, uh, driver's side looks nice. It's a grayish colored interior. Painted details, of course, on the back. Got the license plate and the Aston Martin logo right above it. Dual exhaust. Passenger side, same as the left side. No major differences or QC problems. Once again, production date is the same. There's your tooling number down there at the bottom. So yeah, it's a great little release. They've released a handful more awesome James Bond cars uh, since this release. So check those out. And I picked this up from uh, Hobby Lobby locally. So, but you can find them on hobby dealer websites as well so yeah that is my review of johnny lightning pop culture 2020 release one 
James Bond release one. If you enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more. I post new diecast reviews throughout the week, so be sure to click the bell for notifications. You can find me over on Twitter at JasonAstrain69. See you next time for an all-new diecast review. Bye.